Hello from Grace, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We will talk about the new Fenty launch, the concealer and the setting powder. I make videos makeup related. If it's something you like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to see all the other video coming, hit the like button. And if you like, comment down below. Let's get into the video. So let's begin our makeup with primer. I use the Urban Decay Primer Optical Illusion. Proceed with the foundation, the YSL All Hours, New Beauty Blender. Now let's continue with the new concealer from the Fenty Beauty. The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. It, it claims to have instant photo soft coverage for all, long wear, light as air, crease proof. I have the shade 150 and this one costs uh, 25.5 euros. So pretty. The same bottle as the foundation. Now let's try. I have creases under my eyes, naturally, and dark circles. So we will try the coverage and the crease proofness. This is one layer, medium coverage, okay, it's sitting in my creases but better than other concealers. Let's try to build some more coverage. Even with two layers, it didn't cover my circle, my under eye dark circles. So I definitely need to color correct. But it's pretty good. It is not a bad coverage. It just looks a little bit gray. Let's proceed with the contouring. Concealer on the face.
The concealer all over the face blend is very nice. Now to this beauty. The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have the shade Butter. And this cost me 20... Uh, no, this cost me 32.5 euros. So the powder definitely gives a blurring effect. Just a little bit more dry under the eyes. I don't suggest baking with it when you have dry under eyes, like me. But okay, it's pretty nice. I like it. Now let's finish our makeup look. Monza. I use the BH Cosmetics Brilliant Bronzer in the shade Golden Gal Blush Highlighter from Wet n Wild Mega Glow Yes In the shade Blossom Glow E thirteen one nine B setting spray to melt the powders. Now let's fill our brows. I use a matte eyebrow styler in the shade Spiked on my brows. Now let's fix them. And some concealer. Let's prime the eyes with a paint pot, MAC paint pot, in the shade Soft Oak.
this little jar is magic. I forgot it once and I thought something went wrong with my palette and I said I just forgot my paper. I take the shade Zobo from my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. I take the shade EMG from the Festival Palette Blend this. Now we go back to the previous shade And pack it again Now we'll cut the crease Now we take the shade Mali from the mascara palette of Julie's face. And we take the shade Alien from the Alien palette of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now we take the shade Area 51 from the Alien palette of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now we take again the shade Eerie G and the shade Area 51 from the Album Palette. We take the shade Interstellar from the Alien palette. With the same shade, we highlight the brow bone just a little bit. Black eyeliner. 
Now let's put some mascara. The lash part does waterproof. So this is our finished look. We tried the Fenty Beauty setting powder and the concealer. I pretty much like both of them. This is a little bit dry, so don't bake with it if you have dry skin. But it has a very good blurring effect. Very nice. This is as crystalless as it can be for me, which is almost impossible. But it's quite nice. So if you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, comment down below if you like the if you tried or like this product, and I hope to see you again. Love you all.